Guys, I'm so hype right now. Ready? I don't think you guys understand how long I've been messing with this mic. I finally recorded some audio and it sounds great. So now we can actually have a good day. I hope everybody's having an amazing day today. If you guys aren't having good days, just get yourself a Grom. This Grom has been my most favorite motorcycle. Well, I've had uh, four motorcycles before this. I had an 82 Honda Nighthawk, and then I had a CBR 600, which was an 03. And then I had an 06 DRZ 400. And I had an 03 Electric Glide. By far, the Grom wins hands down. Hands down wins. Oh, big boy. That's what she said. <laughs> you know, this bike's brand new and it's been wrecked. I broke my collarbone on this the second week I had it. I was doing wheelies. The whole point in having this bike is to do wheelies. Yes, I know. That's what I bought it for as well. And that's what I will continue to do. My bad, mom. Anyways, um, so yeah, I, I was doing wheelies. And I was doing it on my lunch break at, at work. Uh, when I came down, my bars weren't straight and it sent me over the over the handlebars and I landed right on my right shoulder and it just completely snapped my collarbone. I'm going to put pictures up of um, the x-rays so if you are squeamish for that look away in three two one boom there's one boom there's another so yeah they went in they put a titanium plate in and six screws I pretty much was had full mobility right afterwards I just had to take it easy until the bone started healing to support that plate some. I don't want to fall yet because it was only like six weeks ago I broke this thing. Lunch, maybe eight weeks. The bike did suffer some damage. This fairing's broke. My front fender that has some uh, road rash. This has some road rash. This got some road rash. That broke. My forks were tweaked pretty good. I got a picture of that too. My, my steering. Uh, you know how you have steering stops? Well, I completely sheared one of those off. That's what messed up my fairing. There's some stones on this road. This way, it stops before it hits anything. See the gap? Well, this way just says like, yeet, yeet. Oh, it, it gets stuck too if you hit it hard enough. Really not too bad. It does suck because it was a brand new bike. It still is kind of a brand new bike. It's got almost a thousand miles on it now. A thousand miles of mostly wide open, full bore, just going as fast as I can go. Oh, I got some rash on the, the muffler too down there. The Amazon uh, exhaust. If you guys are iffy on what exhaust you want, go to my video like two videos ago. I did a whole review and installation of it. Way better than spending the six or seven hundred dollars on Yoshi. It's a three thousand dollar bike, guys. I'm okay with putting eighty dollars in a three thousand dollar bike, but I'm not okay with putting seven hundred dollar exhaust on it. You can replace the motor for less than that. Well, let me tell you guys a little bit about my channel. So I'm just getting into the moto vlog things. I love hunting and I love guns. And if you don't like that kind of stuff, you can probably just click off the video now because I probably end up saying something you don't like. Oh, I don't really care. Like I said, I love guns. I love hunting. I have a couple hunting videos on the page right now. Um, I'll probably do some gun reviews sometime. I will be putting more hunting videos on here in the fall. But I'm still going to do moto vlogs, even in December. I'll do a moto vlog if there's snow on the ground. I mean, I'm just not here just to have fun. Hi. What is this guy doing? Watch, as soon as I start to go around, he's going to take off. I'm currently working on a duck boat. Like, well, it's a John boat, but I'm putting a long tail mud motor on it. I already have all that stuff. I just got to buy the motor. If you guys want to see videos on that, I will gladly post videos on it. That's something I enjoy doing. Oh, wow. My turn signal's been on this whole time. Oh, God. That was a huge bump. I could get some air off that if I tried. Who the hell did that? This is a dead end road. I've never been, I, I grew up out here my entire life and never been down this road. Dude, with the Grom, I find way more roads than I ever did with any of my bigger bikes. Probably because I'm obviously going slower, so 
I have more time to like pay attention to what's actually going on. And it's like, I'm not afraid to take this somewhere and have to turn around. My Harley, I hated having to turn that around if I was like on a hill or something. I'm a short guy. Oh wow, this is, this is beautiful down this road. You know, for being in the Midwest and everything's like flat, it's still pretty good looking out here. I love it here. <laughs> hey, your trash can's on the side. Yes, 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 guys. The audio is perfect. Woohoo!